This segment of the news is brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. Here's Angela Miles with today's Business First Brief. Topping our news, Amazon and that big earnings miss. The company fell short by about a dollar on earnings. However, revenue came in with a stunning $38 billion beating expectations. Amazon's profit took a hit because the company is investing in so many new areas, including its proposed acquisition of Whole Foods. Intel surpassed Wall Street estimates on earnings, and according to one analyst, the company's new server chip line could drive growth in the future. Intel, however, came up shy in revenue. Starbucks posted weaker than anticipated third quarter earnings. The coffee chain plans to close all of its Tivana stores. Neiman Marcus confirms to MarketWatch it's cutting and reworking more than 200 jobs. Company executives say it's an effort to streamline the business. The Nordstrom family is reportedly in talks to take that department store chain private. Shares traded higher on Thursday. Let's join Caitlin Boyer with today's question of the day. The Senate has been in deliberation regarding the repeal and replacement of the Affordable Care Act. So we came to Walmart to ask our question of the day. How do you feel about what's going on with the health care bill? I think it sucks. I think our health care needs to be amended and I think that our government owes it to us to make sure that it happens. Our veterans and our seniors are the ones suffering for all this. I think it's a bunch of junk. It's all junk. All of the health care bills. What I think right now is that they should take their time in deciding what they should do and get it right because we all need health care and we need good health care. I think it's a really big mess, but I'm not scared because I have faith in our country. And if I didn't have faith in the president, I have faith in all our country men because they're going to take care of us. I really do believe they're going to take care of us. So I'm not too worried because if they have to step up and step in, they will. I believe they need to pass something because Obamacare is going to implode and yes I, I, I know that people are going to be without um, health care but I think people need to look at the big picture and see who's going to be without the health care. Is it the people that don't want to work, that just want to hang out in life you know and not be productive? Then you know I, I believe that's part of the, the, the 23 million or whatever the number was, 22 million. So that's my opinion on that. They need to pass something because people are going to be hurting either way. So we need to try to find something that works. Well, I think that our politicians are not doing their job. We have a terrible situation, and it can be fixed. I just don't know why somebody isn't fixing it. As of this morning, the Senate is still undecided as to whether they're going to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act and whether they'll put out a bill that will approve upon it. We'd like to give a big thank you to Walmart and General Manager Alan Rogers. That's your question of the day, and I'm Caitlin Boyer reporting for News 46. Thanks, Caitlin. A ride at the Ohio State Fair called the Fireball broke Wednesday evening, killing one and injuring seven others. The victim killed in the accident has been identified as 18-year-old Tyler Jarrell, who recently graduated and enlisted in the Marines on July 22nd. Several other victims, including two in critical condition, have also been identified. Jarrell's girlfriend, 19-year-old Kazia Lewis, is among the critical victims. Two other victims remain hospitalized, three victims being treated at Ohio State Wexner Medical Center have all undergone surgery, but will require more surgery and rehab. One victim is an adult teenager, another in their 20s, and a third in their mid-40s. One victim is in serious condition, while the other two are in critical. Two people were discharged from Grant Medical Center Thursday morning. One person remains in critical condition. The cause of the ride malfunction has not yet been determined. The fireball had been inspected several times, including by a third-party company, for the fair. The fireball ride is described as an aggressive thrill ride which swings riders 40 feet above the midway while spinning them at 13 revolutions per minute. The ride holds 24 passengers in four seat sections at the end of six spoke arms.
President Donald Trump replaced his chief of staff, Rents Priebus, today with Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly. Trump made the announcement on Twitter just after landing on Air Force One at Joint Base Andrews outside Washington. Priebus, who had traveled with Trump to Long Island for an event on gang violence, was seated inside a Secret Service van on the tarmac when the message came down. Priebus had resigned privately on Thursday. The move followed months of on-again, off-again speculation that Priebus would soon be ousted from an administration where he has constantly drawn heavy criticism for failing to stem the flow of leaks and struggled to impose a sense of order in a chaotic White House beset by controversies. We'll have more news right after this.